A multi-billion rand illicit market that has infiltrated all of society and consumed many youth across the globe. And in the northwest, a province in which a total of 11,972 cases relating to drug possession were registered last year, there is no exception. Many in the community have appealed for more active policing to eradicate known drug hubs and dealers to protect their communities. Unemployment is the cause of attracting young people to drugs. And also, there are some people who are working with the police. We want these things to be taken away so that young people can be employed. You will take a child to school after matric. He will get involved in drugs because he has nowhere to go. With the recent studies revealing that the average age for experimenting with drugs is 12 years old, recovering drug addict and ex-convict Tabang Sefoto paints a bleak picture of what addiction can do to one's life. I've ended up uh, being hooked. I was using uh, crack cocaine, I was using uh, ecstasy, I was using uh, Zol, I was using uh, alcohol. They are very bad, especially to our kids. And I'm very fortunate now because I've, I've, I've made it out alive, I've made it out normal. Meanwhile, local authorities are committed to combating drug abuse. We have also the, the centers where we are about to open. They are 100% uh, complete. The, the center for the, the people who are addicted to the drugs. This center is at the JB Max municipality. The other one is in Tau. Areas that we experience a lot of use of uh, drugs is in areas like Breads, Rustenburg, Mafiking, Freiburg, and not forgetting Tau. So we as the police, we, we, we urge our community to come forward if maybe they suspect or see if maybe there is a place where uh, drugs are sold, to come forward and assist us with the information. Meanwhile, the Provincial Department of Social Development says it has set aside over 70 million rand to wage a winnable war against drug addiction. Simply English, SABC News, Freiburg.